Hey, what's up guys? My name is Bonds and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the version 1.5 special program for Genshin Impact. That's right, they announced version 1.5 and now we have a full breakdown. It's about a 47 minute stream that they had, it's like their special program thing. And we're going to check it out together for the first time. Well, I'll be watching it for the first time. Now, last time I did like a everything you need to know about this update, whatever, I'm pretty comfortable in saying that as good as I feel like that video came out, it came out fine. I'm not built to be a news channel. I don't have like notifications turned on and I'm like waiting for something to drop. I don't watch any leaks. I don't know when stuff's coming out. So with that being said, I think this video is going to purely be like my reaction to everything that's coming out on 1.5. So what we'll probably do is I'm probably going to watch the whole thing the whole way through. There's going to be pauses and we're going to skip a lot. If you actually want all the information from this, I would highly recommend going and checking out the video yourself. It's over on Genshin Impact's YouTube channel. I'll link it down below if I remember. Probably won't. But anyways, no more talking. Let's get into the video. And they were separated by an unknown god. Ether! Lumine! Is that how you pronounce the guy's name? Ether? Okay. Am I the only one that's been saying Aether? It's got an A in front of the E, so that makes it Aether to me. But what do I know? And now the two of them are finally reunited in the Genshin Impact version 1.5 special program! Woo! <laughs> I think yeah. we saw this in the trailer, so at least part of this in the trailer. Moment to thank our viewers for joining us today and for their amazing support. That was a of sick Genshin transition, Impact. by the way. Dude, this guy looks so sick. Not Zhongli, that guy. <laughs> I'm so excited to fight him just because he has so many elements. He looks so cool, dude. <laughs> Personally, I'm excited for these new characters. They look super cool. Yeah, and that sounds like a solid place to start. So why don't I begin by introducing the new characters first? Sounds new characters! Way. Eula. Is it Eula or Eula? Or some weird. They can pronounce it like oh, oh bro, look at bro. Bro. She's so sick, dude. Do something hot. Yo, okay, that was hot, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, I'm telling you, what is that? Is that her like alt? Or is that just her E? Dude, she looks tight. Oh, wait. You want hold. to learn some Favonia's blade work? <laughs> all right, then. I'll teach you. Oh, yes. I'll teach you all right. Mark my words. Oh, stop it. Stop. Introducing our new playable character, Eula, yeah, captain of the right. Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. She carries a cryo vision and elegantly wields her frosty claymore. Yeah, the way she handles her weapon is truly amazing. Like she even did a cartwheel with her sword. Which was no sick. No wonder she's called the Spindrift Knight. Yeah, her combat style really stands out. Um, forget fighting. Her style is more like dancing or gymnastics. Seriously, she doesn't move like other Claymore wielders at all. Her motions are way lighter and more fluid. Perhaps that's a result of the training passed down through her aristocratic bloodline. Oh, she's a descendant of the family that was once Yo, overthrown by look the what I just noticed. Hold up. Oh. She's got like the, the child like cloak thing going on, like the scarf. It like switches to cryo. That's super tight. I'm glad they're doing that more because that's a really cool effect on child that you don't really see anywhere else. Let's have a look at her skill, shall we? Yes, please. Yes. With her elemental skill, Ice Tide Vortex, Eula slashes swiftly, dealing cryo damage. However, her elemental skill has different effects depending on whether you tap or hold the skill button. Ooh, interesting. Tell us more. Yeah. When tapping the elemental skill, Eula gains a stack of Grimheart by hitting an opponent. Dude, it looks so clean. Eula's defense and resistance to interruption. Sounds cool for a claymore wielder. What will happen if we hold her elemental skill then? I was hoping you would ask that. When the skill is held, Eula consumes the stacks of Grimheart, and surrounding opponents will have their physical resistance oh. and cryo resistance decreased. Physical res decreased, plus that new physical uh, artifact set, bro. She's gonna be nuts. When Ice World brand that deals cryo damage to nearby opponents. Ooh, I'm loving her Grimheart mechanic already. 
Yeah, me too. Eula's elemental burst, Bro. glacial illumination, deals cryo damage to nearby opponents and creates a light false sword that follows her around for a certain duration. When her own normal attacks, elemental skill and elemental burst deal damage to opponents, they will charge the light false sword until it explodes violently once its duration ends. An explosive oh, dude. sword. Wow. That seems almost like a contradiction. I mean, ice that explodes? It's like mixing opposites. Right? But it's somehow fitting for her character, you know? A noble heir who joins the family's arch enemy, who moves elegantly but causes violent explosions, who manipulates cryo element but is called the Spindrift Knight. She's full of contradictions. Nice. Dude, I really like her story. That's super cool. Like... Her skills are dope. Her skill is dope. Her alt is dope. Her backstory is dope. Her character art is dope. Pretty cool. I like her. Okay, here's Yan Fei. Let's check her out. I think she's the new four star. Pyro Catalyst user. Her skills look dope though. She's super cute. <laughs> This will be the first time we've had a pyro catalyst user that's, I mean, Klee is so clunky. Like she should feel completely different. I'm curious to see what her skills do though. That looks super sick. I don't know what that is. The other new playable character Here in version 1.5 is Yenfei, a legal Yenfei. advisor active in Liyue Harbor. She's a catalyst wielder and holds a pyro vision. Interestingly enough, she happens to be part illuminated beast. Just like Ganyu. That's what I was about to say. Exactly. So are those two sticks on her head her version of horns? Or are they more like antlers? Wait, I thought those were her pigtails. I didn't even notice those. Look at this. I didn't even notice she had these. It's the staff. It has nothing to do with the, the character model whatsoever. It's the staff. I was really distracted by the staff. Okay, so her work is all related to contracts, right? Because I know I saw some sort of gigantic pyro stamp slamming down when she attacks. <laughs> you know, like the kind of thing you'd see used to stamp a contract. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Both her normal attack, her elemental skill signed edict, and her elemental burst done deal grant her scarlet seals, which decrease Yen Fei's stamina consumption. But these scarlet seals are not the big seal you saw. Oh, so That's the scarlet dope. seals must have been all those little red markings floating around her. That's right. When she uses her charged attack, Yenfei consumes all Scarlet Seals, which in turn increase her charged attacks air. That was pretty dope. Check that out. Charged attack, Yenfei that consumes was sick. all Scarlet Seals, which in turn <laughs> increase her that. charged attacks area of effect and damage. And that's all the latest we have Dude. on the new characters. Wait a minute. Didn't you forget something? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I, I have a pretty good memory, Zach. <laughs> Zach was going to ask where we'll get to pull these oh, adorable new characters. Thought they were going to say right? Zhongli. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that all, all in good time. Right now seems to be a good time for us to give away our first Bro. redemption code. Oh, Come yeah? on. <laughs> Dude, just show us Zhongli. Is there a Zhongli banner or not? It seems only fitting to collect some rewards before we talk about event wishes in version 1.5. Yeah. All right. All right. I know you guys are anxious to hear more in version 1.5. The two five-star characters, Zhongli and Yula, will appear successively in their own separate event wishes. Many of the Bro. players have been waiting for Zhongli. It's official. Big Dong Zhong is coming back. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's great. He's returned and it's finally happening. The players have been waiting. I've been waiting. <sighs> okay, to elaborate, <laughs> Yen Fei will be featured in Zhongli's event wish, Gentry of Hermitage. The exact dates and durations for the event wishes will be officially announced later. Aside from the new characters, a new five-star weapon and two sets of new artifacts will also... This is the sword that Eula was using. We already saw the artifacts. The artifacts are sick. This is the sword that Eula was using. This will be released in version 1.5. Ooh. Song of Broken Pines. Bro, that sword is so sick looking. Very cool. That new claymore looks pretty Zach. ornate. It sort of reminds me of the five-star bow Elegy for the End from version 1.4. Oh, good observation. Mm -hmm. Now, this new five-star claymore is called Song of Broken Pines, and it has what a physical it damage bonus. What'd I say? Quite a what did I say? Too. 
I wonder if it belongs to the same series as Elegy for the End. Perhaps. And there may even be a hidden story behind them. Ooh, already feel a story coming! Ooh. You know, whenever Keith even mentions the word story, I just want to break Ooh. out the popcorn. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, aside from the weapons, there will be two sets of new artifacts for players to collect. Tenacity of the Millilith and Pale Flame. Ooh, awesome! Where can we get them? If past updates are any indication, my bet would be that they'll be in a new domain? And that is correct. The new domain, Ridgewatch, will be Ooh. available to travelers after the version update. Now, it's Let's located go. in the mountainous area that connects Mondstadt and Liua. Finally! We're getting a teleport waypoint there. That's always been one of the harder areas for players to reach. Yeah, I bet a lot of people have used their portable waypoints to get there. Now we can save those for some other places. <laughs> in addition to the new gear, some new storylines will... <laughs> of course, they make the recommended element Geo for the... Uh, well, I guess it's kind of like a Geo base. It's like, what's something of the Millilith or something? I don't know. We released two. After the version 1.5 update, Diona's Ooh. Hangout event and Act 2 of Noelle's Hangout event will be available Diona for players to enjoy. Noel? Act 2 with Noelle? That is so sweet. I... So, if those of you that are waiting for your next date with Noelle, guess what, man? You just... She just called you back. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Guess what? She's still not going to put out. Anyway. Really love the hangout memory illustrations with Noelle. Okay, but that's not the only Act 2 we're getting in version 1.5. Oh. Act 2 of Zhang Li's story quest will be released in the update as well, followed Ooh. by Yula's own story quest. Wow, I already can't wait to see more of Zhang Li's storyline. Can you tell? Okay, that's actually hype, dude. That's actually hype. Those story quests, these story quests are like bangers, dude. They're so good. Hangout events, couldn't care less. Didn't sign up for a dating sim. Their story quests, bring them on, bro. Bring them all. I will take any story quest they want to give me when it comes to these characters. I am all for it. Not just these, but just the characters in general. I'm, I'm all for it, dude. So game. Tell us more about what's going to happen, Keith. Well, as you saw in the trailer, the dragon Ejdaha, who seems to have some, let's say, history with Zhongli, will be making an appearance in Zhongli's oh. story quest. Sounds interesting, but uh, who exactly is this Ejdaha? Oh. Wait, he's a story quest boss. He's not gonna be a. He's not gonna be a weekly boss. <sighs> it's not fair. Oh, it was mentioned in the quest about the nameless treasure. Seems like Mr. Zhongli's past is finding its way back to him. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. And meeting those who share the memory leaves an indescribable feeling. New ability coming, confirmed. Look at this. Look at this. New ability coming, confirmed. Teleport. The traveler can teleport. Only the male traveler can teleport. Ether can teleport. Confirmed. You heard it here probably ninth. Meeting <laughs> those who share the memory leaves an indescribable feeling. Sarah, look, it's him. Ah, it is. <laughs> you guys. Okay. In a word, Ejdaha is going to play an important role in Zhongli's story quest. And the disturbance it causes will also pose a serious threat to Liyue. Furthermore, this dragon will become a weekly boss. So let's take a closer look at it in battle. Let's go. That's huge. Oh, something, something I didn't mention. That's my, that's my favorite tree in the game. I'm not at the point in my career yet where I'm making like top five trees in Genshin Impact, but if I did, that right now, that's up there. Just saying. All right, let's see. Let's see this dude. I am extra free. Look at all those Zhongli pillars. Oh, well, there they go. It's about how squishy they are. Dude, he looks sick. So does he channel different ones at different times? That's what it seems like, right? No, he's it's like different phases of the fight. Cause he's still got the fire legs. Now he's hydro and cryo, I think. Or maybe just cryo. No, he's definitely hydro and cryo. Look at that's a chunky boy. Yo, he is big. What was that? 
is that like a little oh that must be like his little mark that he leaves on you or something that's like a child thing like child leaves his little like riptide mark on you that must be his mark i thought that was like from a weapon i was like wait a second you're not sneaking anything by All me right, i don't know it actually uh oh sarah wants a new pet now <laughs> yeah kind of <laughs> cute like it's gonna rip off my head <laughs> no i mean it's got that little cute smirk <laughs> kind of cute like none of us are taking the main characters into that fight <laughs> sorry that was rude <laughs> Remember this place? There was a girl standing under a tree mumbling about the awakening of some most on oh. individual. Remember? Oh, right. There yeah. was. So she was talking about Ashtaha. She was. Dude, that's the sick. tree, or as it's called, the. I want to go around and talk to every single person like that now because there's probably tons of story that they're already telling us about that they're not really telling us about if you if you catch my drift. We'll be a new member of the hypostasis family, the cryohypostasis. Hey. Let's see it in action. Ice cube. Literally, it's, it's just a bunch of ice cubes. It's just SQ from, um, is it SQ? Ice cube. Ice, it's just ice cube from uh, Pokemon. I always read it SQ in my head. I never thought that I was saying it wrong until just now. I realized that it's just ice cube. <laughs> it's just ice cube. When the cryohypostasis reaches low HP, it enters a shield to protect itself and recover from the damage. In the meanwhile, it attacks its enemies. That's annoying. Anyway, it, it turns out that another one of the Abyss Order's elite monsters will be making a debut in version 1.5. Oh. The Abyss Lector. Let's take a look, shall we? The Abyss Hannibal Lector? That is so loud. Oh, dude, he looks sick. Yeah, I didn't really look at him last time, dude. He looks really cool. Oh, dude, Albedo, go in, bro. Go in, son. Go ahead. Come on, Edward Elric. You got this. Dude, he looks super cool. Okay, one thing to be noted is that some of the Abyss Lector's attacks will decrease characters' elemental energy once they hit their opponents. So be sure to dodge those. Why? 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 Why do you have to take away our energy? I don't understand the thought process behind it. <laughs> Mihoyo, that's not fun. <laughs> Your game is supposed to be fun. That's not fun. I get that it's like, oh yeah, we'll get good. Just dodge the attacks, whatever. Dude, that, that, that's not fun. I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't, know. don't take away my alt energy. I don't like that. God, don't take away my stamina and don't take away my alt. Get off. If only it was that easy. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, Zach. I know you well enough. What are you thinking about over there? <laughs> well, the Abyss Herald we met before was like an assassin, whereas this Abyss Lector we see now seems more like a mage. The Herald could manipulate the Hydro element, while the Lector manipulates Dude, the Electro element. He is sick looking. Now that I think about it, what if I could put them on my team? Well, I mean, yeah, practically speaking, that would make a very good team. <laughs> Well, that could be what the last sibling was thinking. <laughs> Bro? 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 Are we going to be able to put these guys on our team soon? Don't play with my emotions, Zach. I swear, I'll, I'll get Cody. <laughs> it's not going to be such a sweet life anymore, man. Don't play with my emotions. So next, Yo. we'll get a peek of an all-new permanent so feature called Serena Teapot which will be available starting in version 1.5. Zach, I'll leave this part to you. Got it. This looks so hype. After we helped the city get through its crisis. That was really nice of them. I hope it wasn't too difficult to make. Well, the Adepti of Liu are you get mighty multiple? illuminated beings with great power. Creating a realm within is nothing but creating Wait. a little trinket for them. What? Keith, you sound so cool. Uh, you anyways. sound cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. I don't get Let's my own little village. Look inside this so-called teapot. I don't get my own little village. For starters, there it's are inside three of a pot. Realm layouts for us to choose from: floating abode, Emerald Peak, and Cool Isle. Wow! So this is what the adept I would consider. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize it'd be that cool. Uh, catch me on my new floating abode. Yo. They're just a trinket. <laughs> inside the realm, you'll find Tubby. 
a teapot spirit who manages I all the general Tubby. affairs in the realm He's within. My favorite. Hmm. Just like a butler. Oh my gosh, Tubby is so round and cute. Right? Oh I my god. Him. I love and him. It plays an important role in our realm too. When we raise its trust rank, it will give us some rewards and unlock oh. new features for our realm. For example, the three different new realm reputation. Lands, we we'll have to increase our trust rank if we want to unlock They're calling it trust rank, but it's just more reputation and we're hype about it. Lock them all. Okay, so question. If I rub Tubby, will it grant me three wishes? What are you talking about? Tubby's not a genie. Don't touch okay, Tubby. Okay, I would... Listen here, bitch. You touch Tubby, we're gonna throw hands, all right? Better stay off Tubby. I was just thinking, you know, magic lamp, magic teapot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So anyway, how do we increase trust rank with Tubby then? <laughs> Whenever we create new furnishings, Yo. Tubby's trust in... Look at all this stuff. Dude, this is sick. You can literally like fully like outfit okay i look I, at first at first i was like wait we can't just place that somewhere in the world that whatever this is sick like this will actually give people things to do for longer than 15 minutes a day this is sick Precis. moreover with the and and for all of you who have a significant other that loves playing The Sims, like me, my fiance loves The Sims, but I can't get her to even try Genshin Impact. Boom, tell her, but you can, you can make your own house, make your own realm inside of a teapot with Tubby. Easy, easy clap, absolutely. They're gonna be like, yes, oh my gosh, yes. Help of the teapot easy. spirit, we'll collect various blueprints from different sources. Once we've collected the necessary materials for creating furnishings, we can make those oh, furnishings in the Serenity Pot. iron and stuff. That's and cool. And use them to decorate our home. This Serenity Pot will be a large personal realm that players may Look manage. Look at that. They can take their time considering how to decorate the space and can fill it with the things they like to make it feel like home. I see. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Dude. This is like Animal Crossing meets The Sims meets Genshin Impact. Oh, love this. I don't like The Sims, but I like everything else I said. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, and the yes, realms dope. seem very large too. Large enough to unleash your imagination. Yeah, we can create views Look outside the house and arrange the layouts of furnishings. Oh. And as we put more furnishings into the Serena teapot, our adeptal energy increases, enabling the realm to produce more realm currency. So more furnishings increase adeptal energy. I like the sound of that. I knew you'd Dude, this like is that. So, sick. so with this new realm currency you mentioned comes a new way of exchanging it, I suppose? That's right. We can exchange realm currency for a variety of material. Oh, bro, we can buy Mystic Enhancement or Hero Wit Mora. Bro, this is gonna be literally just like my ears ringing. Why is my ear, what, what is happening? Am I dying? My hair looks like I'm dying. My ears ringing. What the heck's wrong with me? Okay, wait. What is this? What is transient resin? Has anyone talked? To Why is it 1200? What? Why is that so expensive? What is it? Bro, this is so sick. Look at the little, oh, the animals. Oh, dude, I love this. I'm so excited. Okay. This redemption code is not valid anymore, so I'm really sorry if you're seeing this. Uh, but, bro, like, can we just talk about Eula's character heart? Like, dude, she looks so good. So first on the list okay. is an event called this. Energy Amplifier Initiation. Oh, this is an event. Bro, I thought they were going to make us OP. I also forgot to switch my cam back to the other side. I thought they were going to make us OP. I thought this was just, like, added. I didn't even think about the possibility of it being an event. That's a bummer. But during this event... We're gonna slap like In this hard. Event, a Characters oh, have higher levels. Look at their, oh, dude, look at Eula and Yanfen's portraits. Okay, Eula's portrait is so sick. First of all, that character looks so dope. Uh, Yanfen looks pretty tight too, but dude, Eula is bae. As always, Zach, that's where your friends come in. You can borrow up to three characters from your friends to increase your motive oh. force. You got that, Zach? Oh, friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any either. Don't worry. There are plenty of fragments spread all over the map. We'll search for the fragments in places of interest throughout the open world. 
And we'll also be able to enter something called a Twisted Realm in the later oh. phase of the event. Twisted Realm? Sounds like a teapot gone wrong. <laughs> Not exactly. There are four domains in the Twisted Realm, and each has different bizarre twists. We'll be able to select the difficulty and conditions for the domains we enter, what? just as in the previous Hypostatic Symphony event. Of course, higher difficulties will grant better rewards. Okay. Okay, this is so sick. So this will be one for players who are looking for some serious challenges. And I should mention that. A Hold on. Let's let's hear what he has to say first. Then we'll talk about the serious challenges comment. Contract with Diona, the bartender of Mondstadt. Will okay, it has nothing to do with that. Is this event actually gonna be hard? I didn't do the previous hypostasis event. Was that event actually hard? Like, if you did that event, let me know down in the comments. Was it actually hard? Because, dude. Expert on the contending tides was or no, extreme, even more intense than the word expert. Extreme difficulty was a joke. So we'll see if expert feels hard here. I doubt it. Whatever. Yo, so if you don't have Diona, you can get a free Diona from doing this event. That's sick. That's huge. If you don't have Diana, she's really solid. I've seen a lot of people build her and she's super good. I don't have her built, okay? I don't know anything about her. I just know she's good. I know she's really good for certain characters. I, I don't know anything about her. I don't come at me. Go get her. <laughs> Our next event to introduce is called Battlefront Misty Dungeon. Huh? This sounds like a completely different kind of game. In this event, there will be six themed... One moment, please. I have to kill a fly. That's a big fly, bro. Bro, where are you? Come here, little bitch. Get off my light. Get off my light. Second he gets off my light, I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Get off the light. Bro. Dude, stop cleaning your wing on my light. Get off. I don't want to swing and destroy my light. Move. He's on the wall. He's on the wall. Got him. <laughs> All right. Sorry for that little interruption. Okay. And we go again trials for us to complete and we'll only be able to use characters from a set pool of trial characters from the event Ooh. throughout the trials our team will not form any elemental resonance and food and potions in our inventory will also not be accessible ah, now that sounds tough <laughs> but before each trial we can preview the monsters we'll be encountering along with some corresponding tips and tasks so it is possible for us to choose characters that fit the conditions before we start Nice, right? Yeah, that's a relief. Whew. I mean, it definitely sounds so cool. What do we need to sounds do to harder. pass these trials? In each trial, players need to activate all three of the ancient runes within the time limit to gain access to the final challenge. There are benediction mechanics with the trials, which allow players to obtain certain bonus effects and make it easier to complete the trials. At the same time, there are also some this automated weapon systems that will detect and attack any intruders. Ooh. Players will need to use the appropriate reactions to temporarily disable these devices. We're definitely going to have to use our heads to get the right strategies. Totally. And with rewards like Primo Gems, Mora, this and other sick. materials awaiting, it'll definitely be worth a shot. Our next event okay. is called Mimi Tomo. Sounds Hillichurlian? You nailed it. This event is about a certain unusual hilly churl we might encounter. Have they said hilly churlian before? I guess that little girl may, that makes you like talk to them. Oh my god. I hate that I know that. Honor in various Ugh. locations. I see. The one that throws primo gems at players, right? Okay, to viewers who are searching for where you can find this unusual hilly churl right now, just know you can't actually use the primo gems it throws at you. Lately, this unusual hilly churl has been stirring up trouble on the merch. The unusual hilly churl throws primo gems that you can't use? Bro, I'm killing him extra hard next time I see him. Ancient roots. It's time for us to teach it a lesson. But this hilly churl is not an easy one to trace. So we'll need to borrow some help from an expert. Perhaps you remember the hilly churlian expert, Ella Musk? Yeah, you mean that little That's girl the in the one. library? So it's time for her to teach us a lesson. We'll be utilizing the handy handbook of Hilly Churlian from her to communicate with other Hilly Churls for intel on the whereabouts of this unusual Hilly Churl. That seems like fun, but I'm not sure I can memorize that much Hilly Churlian. You can write it down, Zach. Or you can take a screenshot. Oh, yeah, a screenshot. Now that's good advice. The only question now is... 
Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. We could be quite persuasive that way. That wouldn't be persuasion. Wait, now I'm confused. We're talking about bribing them with some apples or something, right? Like that type of persuasion? Oh, apples. Yeah, yeah, apples. <laughs> and now you're making me feel like I'm a bad person. <laughs> anyway, players will gain some furniture. Okay, I didn't care about this event until this screen. Suddenly, I care about this event. This is literally, like, it's Animal Crossing, dude. This is Animal Crossing now. We get Animal Crossing houses in Genshin Impact. Bro, I'm so freaking excited. You understand? Oh, I'm so excited. Finishing blueprints, primo gems, and other <sighs> rewards from the event. So be sure not to miss out on this one. Our next event is simply called Wind Trace. Personally, I'd like to call it hide and seek. All right, sounds fun. And in case you're wondering, Wind Trace this is the one that's kind of weird. When ancient nobles were hunting for rebels in Mondstadt. Uh, okay. Now things are starting to sound a little bit scary. <laughs> no worries, Zach. Today it's transcended from its dark history, passing down only the names of the two sides, Hunter and Rebels. Oh, so what does a round of Wind Trace look like? I'm glad you asked, Zach. Players will be playing in contested zones. They will be allocated one of the two sides, the Hunter or the Rebels. The Rebels hide this is and so the Hunter weird. seeks. But there's more to it. I don't really need them talking during this part. They're literally giving us prop hunt. Which, like... I said this in my other video. Like, who who asked for this? Like, don't get me wrong. Prop hunt's cool. But, like, bro. This is, this is not a prop hunt game. I don't want to play prop hunt. I don't know. This one feels a little like a misstep to me. But maybe it'll be fun. Who knows? Final event is called Overflowing Seems fun. Mastery. Hmm, we had Leyline Overflow before, right? That's a lot of books. That's right. Only this time we will have doubled talent level up materials. During the event, we will have three chances daily to collect double rewards using original resin from selected domains of mastery. If I'm not mistaken, Wait. this is the first time we'll have an event that doubles talent level up materials. That's huge. This is sick. Exactly. So if you need to grind for talent level up materials, this will be your chance. I bet everybody's going to love that. All right. That's about all we have for the special events in version 1.0. Hey, for the last one, I'll take free stuff. That's pretty dope. Um, it, honestly, the events seem cool. I'm more excited about some of the other stuff they were showing off, like the banners and like the, the, the new stuff, the new monster, the new story quests, the new weapon. That stuff looks more exciting to me personally. Some of these events look really cool. Don't get me wrong. And I'm super excited about the housing thing. The whole like the dude, I just want Chubby. Literally just or Tubby. Is it Tubby? I think it's Tubby. I just want Tubby. <laughs> I call him Chubb. I'm so sorry, Tubby. I love you. Five. As always, the last part of our version previews will be regarding. Ooh. Here we go. This is some good stuff here. These are always good. Hold on, let's New see what we got here. New optimizations and adjustments coming to the game. Keith, would you like to explain the coming changes for version 1.5 to our viewers? Sure thing. Starting from version 1.5, the cost of original resin to claim rewards for the first three weekly bosses will be reduced from 60 to 30. Okay, that's half the cost. Yeah, and that's we'll huge. have a total of four weekly bosses, so that means we'll be able to claim rewards from all the weekly bosses using a single day's resin. And we'll even have 10 original resin left over. Oh, check you out, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. That's huge, dude. <laughs> Next, after the version update, character companionship experience gained while playing in team with other players in co-op mode will be doubled. So if we want to accelerate oh. our friendship with some characters and learn more about their stories, we can defeat bosses or clear domains with other players in co-op mode. Oh, yes. That's pretty cool. No need to remind me on the importance of friends again. After the version update, Genshin Impact will send mail alerts to players before any limited time events end. Yeah, considering all the unique gameplay and loads of rewards from those limited time events, it would be a pity to miss them. Definitely. That's cool. For players I mean, who are too busy whatever. to check the end time of each event, the mail alert will for sure come in handy. Our last optimization coming in version 1.5 will be about slimming down the game's overall size. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. With this optimization, Players oh. can manage the voiceover files they've installed. 
This could be good. If they can delete, like if they can only have one installed, they can make the game a little bit smaller on mobile. I bet you that's why they're doing it so they can add the housing stuff. Dang. I was really excited to see uh, like something else, but Don't. whatever. If you no longer want to keep the audio files for a certain language, you can delete the corresponding voiceover files manually. That's cool. And though. that I mean... audio pack will not update in future version updates. I just have sneeze leave. God, I hate that. Well, there we go. That was the special program for the version 1.5 beneath the light of Jadeite. Um, I'm super excited for 1.5. Like I was pumped for 1.4 and I was like, oh, all this stuff looks really good. Dude, 1.5 looks nuts. Like, dude, I this could be huge. So with that being said, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm super excited to play 1.5. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited for new stuff. It's always the best time in these games. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way through this video, you are a champion and I don't know how you're still here and I love you for it. Thank you. Subscribe if you guys are new around here, all that good stuff. You, you know the deal. Like the video, comment, tell your mom, you, you know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. That was an hour long. Oh my God. Okay, this is the last thing that I have to record for this video. I've already done several recordings after. You'll see it in a second. It's the last thing you'll see in this video, but this is the last one that I'm actually recording. Um, There was a clip after the stream that I totally missed. And it's like, dude, this is, this is huge. This is like a big deal. So uh, yeah, we're going to show you guys that clip because I'm stoked. Like, I'm so excited. So here, check this out. I still haven't watched it, but I saw like little little bits. See, they're like. And I hope you all have fun in your teapots. Thanks. Bye, everybody. See you in version 1.5. Like, oh, Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye. Oh, <laughs> they're all saying bye. Wait. Are you still there? Yes. I was hoping you'd still be there because we have an extra special surprise for you. Check this out. Bro. In Azuma locations. Oh, look at that giant snake cave. That's so sick. They've confirmed Inazuma is the next one, dude, is the next region. Oh, look at that. Like the flower fields. Bro. Oh, what is that? Dude, yeah, this is so sick. Oh, look at the castle. Oh, I can't believe. I'm so sad that we missed that. Like. I mean, we technically didn't because we got to experience it together now, but like I missed that yesterday entirely. So, oh my God, that's super hype. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. Come check out some clips of me trying to pull Skyward Heart because I had some wishes left over. Maybe I'm sad, maybe I'm not. It's up for you to decide. What's up, boys? All right, it's uh, it's late night fonts. Um, I've already recorded everything that you guys saw. Um, I've recorded the whole stream video. And I recorded the trailer video tonight. Um, and I've been, uh, I just got on Genshin, did my dailies. And I have some Primo gems. Uh, two pulls to be exact. Uh, I've gotten this, uh, the weapon banner above pity. So if you're even seeing this clip, hopefully something good happened. I don't know. But this is a this is above the soft pity now. I think I'm at 62, 63, something like that. Um, so hopefully, like I said, if you're seeing this clip, something good happened. But hopefully... We get something good and i just wanted to have my reaction on camera because I, I like that stuff it's it's cool it's nice to have these memories that we can go back and look at so we can do two wishes hello okay there we go two wishes let's do this come on please 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 okay nothing it's fine this is another blue then we're not even gonna see this clip you won't even see this this will never even be shown here we go. Come on, five star, five star, five star. Okay. Not even gonna include this clip. This was a waste. I shouldn't have even cut all my recording. Yeah. Who knows, I might throw this clip in at the end just to debate you. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, this clip's gonna be after the other one, I guess, because I have to, I just like punishing myself when it comes to editing. Um, I decided that I'm looking at my star glitter. And I'm like, wait, who's in the shop? Oh, Amber, mm, not buying that. I already got Razor this month. And then I was like, wait a second, didn't the rotation start over for the shop? So I'm like, wait, who's next month? So I think 
if the rotation is actually started and they're going to rotate characters next month should be um sing chu and uh ningguang which means i don't really need them so we're going to do five more pulls on this uh this banner here so five more pulls trying to get a skyward heart super late already edited and yeah, we're just getting blues man we're just getting blues i already clicked you come on bro just give us something dope this is for the homies that stuck around to the end of the video these are for the people who watched the whole video come on don't do them like this by the way, we were at 64 before, so this will be literally on, we'll end at 69. So the last poll, we have two left. This is number 68. So 68, four star. Cool. Whatever. The Favonia? Yo, let's go. That's huge. That's actually massive because that's what the Sync 2 is using right now. Um, We got one more. Super anticlimactic. Let's go. Is it sweet? No, no, it's not. Okay, actually buy this time. Okay, well, I love you guys. I'm gonna stop bothering you. I know, I said this was it. <laughs> I, I, I did. I said this was it, and I just found out, you can't see it because I'm in the way, but uh, I just found out that I have five, five more. So I'm gonna cover it up again. Um, This could be it. <laughs> this, this could be it. Last one. Last one and my account's done. This is wish 70 out of 80. If you don't know, you're guaranteed by 80 to get a five star. This is 70. Five star, please. What is it? What is it? I can't look. I can't look. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. What is it? Is it a bow? Is it Skyward Heart? Please. Please don't be the lost prayer. Let's go! We got Skyward Heart, boys. Let's go. Okay. I gotta be really quiet because it, it's really late here, but this is hype. This is why all these clips are at the end of this. I, I guess I should put this at the beginning. I guess I should put this at the end of the, uh, the trailer video because... Nah, I'll just put it at the end of the other one. Screw it. If you get through this long-ass video... You, you get this as your reward so oh my god totally worth totally worth bro we got it oh my god oh. Oh. oh dude look at that that's beautiful oh that's so beautiful i'm so excited bro increase crit damage by 20 percent hits a 60 percent chance of trying oh, that's crit rate oh it's beautiful beautiful Oh, it's so exciting. Now, here's the thing. Is it going to be better than my Veridescent Hunt? Probably not. I mean, it will be. Like, I'll have better damage numbers. But, like, was it worth all that? Probably not. <laughs>